the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Joshua chapter 6, from verse 1, please. Now Jericho was shut up because of the children of Israel. None went out and none came in. Look at this kind of place of bondage. Nothing goes out. Nothing comes in. Next verse. And the Lord said unto Joshua, See, I have given into thy hand Jericho and the king thereof and the mighty men of Velo. Verse 3. And ye shall compass the city. Look at this. This is now the strategy for the new season. Are you seeing now? Supernatural strategy came when circumcision was done. If they had tried to fight the people in Jericho, they would be using a wrong strategy. Understanding led them to a season of circumcision. I didn't have time to read. Please read verse 5, chapter 5 from verse 1 to 15. So that you can understand the whole context. Because after the circumcision, suddenly Joshua sees an angel, the captain of the Lord's army, who said, now I am here to come and partner with you. Let me reveal to you the strategy that will bring Jericho down. You want heaven to assist you? You want encounters? You must pass through that season of circumcision. Listen, God calls you to be a kingdom financier and he tells you you will be a billionaire. And for a long time, people even look at you and say, something is wrong with you. One day in your place of fasting and prayer, when your circumcision is done, his majesty will come to you and say, get a notebook. I want to give you my strategy for your rising. Write. You will write what looks like a foolish statement. But that's what will lift you to the point where people will think you are holding something. And they are right. They are right. It has to be something lifting you. I remember when the Lord came to me and began to give me secrets that will cause a man to excel not just in ministry and in a generation. What I'm teaching is not a sermon. I am teaching history. These are the keys. Take. And when you hold those keys, that is the symbol of dominion. It's like a scepter upon your life. There is nothing the devil can do about it. You are not walking in ignorance. You are holding these keys. Please listen to me. When heaven decides to partner with you, heaven will reveal to you supernatural strategies for victory. 2 Corinthians chapter 10, when you read from verse 4 and 5, the Bible says the weapons of our warfare, the weapons that we are going to use to establish victory, they are not man-made, not fabricated by the intelligence of men, he says. But mighty unto God. Please give it to us. 2 Corinthians chapter 10 from verse 4. The weapons of our warfare, it says, are not carnal, man-made, but mighty through God. Mighty through God. Another expression, mighty through partnership with God. Mighty for the pulling down of strongholds. Verse 5. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of Christ, bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ superior weapons of victory god begins to reveal to you strategies in this case he said joshua i'm going to give you a strategy that does not make sense but believe it this is the strategy for the next season what is it gather your men 
Don't fight. Go around Jericho once every day for six days. And then listen to what I will tell you one day. Imagine, brothers and sisters, the generals in Nigeria going around Sambisa or going around Abuja every day and just singing. You are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. You to fight and they say just relax. Victory is on its way. What sort of a strategy is that? They are not carnal. So God can give you a strategy and say go and lock yourself for the next three days. Write all your prayer requests on the ground and dance on it. What sort of a strategy is that? Lord, I want a change of season. I'm looking for partners in ministry. You are not giving me phone numbers. I am a prophet. I can hear. God says, leave that. This is your strategy. And you're dancing like a madman. Dancing like a madman. And while you are dancing, somebody's waking up from his bed. Because the strategies are, let me tell you this. Divine strategy are, they look deceptfully weak until you see the power that is contained in them. Go around Jericho. Do you know the Bible says five chariots could sit on the fence of Jericho? That means even if it falls, it's still another fence. Five chariots on a fence. And yet a man begins to, to sing around it. And then on the final day, it says now you will go around seven times. And after the seventh time, there will be a shout. It's called the healer. The highest praise. At the instance of that shout, listen please. A miracle will happen. And they went round and round. And then they lifted up their voices. Watch this people of God. When they shouted, the Bible says that the fence, it did not just fall, it sank. Right down. The fence sank down. Victory. Cheap victory. Because of divine strategies. When Elijah as a prophet, sir. I'm wrapping up. Elijah as a prophet of God. There was hunger in the land. The first strategy that was given to him is go and stay at Brook Cherith. I will send you a raven. Are we Bible students? I will send you a raven to feed you. And then you will drink water from the brooks. But the Bible says a time came the brook dried. That's usually the problem. When the current strategy is no longer effective, you will need to, even though he was a prophet, he could not invent a strategy by himself. And God said, now the strategy has changed. If you want to last until rain comes, I am about to send you not to the house of a billionaire. I'm sending you to the house of a widow. You will help her and you will feed from her. He was on his way to Zarephath and he met this woman on her way gathering sticks. He said, woman, bring me water. Make me a morsel of bread. She said, I'm about to make the last one and die. He said, not so. I'm here on an instruction. It's a new season for two of us. a new season two of us the bible says she ate from that and lasted brothers and sisters ask successful people tell you the foolish things god asks them to do ask your pastor ask your bishops ask 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 everyone who is a leader the pastors in this ministry the branches ask your bishop ask his wife they will tell you at a point in their life God gave instructions that did not make sense. They obeyed those instructions from dancing around to shouting like mad people to emptying your account to fasting for no reason to praying. Pumps of our warfare are not carnal. If it makes sense to you, it most likely may not be God speaking. God talks to you like he's talking to himself. So if you analyze his speakings from the standpoint of intellect, you will find out that it does not make sense. Moses, 
Why are you crying before me? Tell the people to go forward. Go forward where? Imagine that you come and tell 2.5 million people, walk on water and go. But that was a strategy for their victory. If it be thou, bid me come. He said, come, walk on that water. The wedding in Cana, they were used to brewing wine. But the Bible says the wine finished, John chapter 2. They needed another strategy for continuity. Embarrassment was going to happen in that feast now. People were thirsty. They needed drink. But there was no wine. And he said, gather six vessels. Another strategy. Fill it with water. Then he now decided to embarrass them. Fetch the water and take it to the rulers. Not even test it among yourself. Take it directly to the rulers. Without testing it yourself. That's a risk. Ah! But water he turns into wine. That's a miracle worker. He opens the eyes of the blind. There's no one like you. None like you. It's into the darkness he shines. Out of the ashes we rise. There's no one like you. None like you. Listen. The reason why many of us may have marked time in certain seasons is because even though you have submitted to circumcision, your ego, you have not gotten your ego out of the way to have the flexibility to obey divine instructions. Divine instructions are very embarrassing. There's no time... I would have given you a few of the senseless instructions that God has given me in this life. Hmm. Very unreasonable. But they contain mysterious power that works within them. You are in this place right now. And we're going to be praying. Strategies are going to come for you. For your life. Listen. For your business. And even for ministry. Lord, why is this struggle in this family? Leave the issue of A plus B equals to C. Open up your spirit. And then God will tell you, let me give you a formula. Not for everybody. For you. A formula for you. A formula for you and you obey that formula and then your life will just change just like that just like that but you must trust God for grace listen to me you must trust God for grace it takes discernment to change seasons in your life you've heard my stories let me share just one of them a repetition Years ago, I was in Joss Bishop. I went to buy sugar cane. And I saw two old women. And I just felt strong in my spirit to honor them. They were mothers. It was less than 100 naira to give them. I said, please, you people are my mothers. Give me the honor of paying for you. They were trying to open their, uh, this, their, their wrapper and remove money. They said, no, no, let me pay for you. I paid for that sugar cane for them. And then they kept blessing me. For some reason, I did not pay attention to what they were saying. But then one of the women looked at me strangely and said, My son, forever walk upon gold. Is that a human being? Can a human being talk to you like that? Strategies. Strategies. There are some of you, you may find out that nobody is rising in your family. Everybody loves God, but everybody is down. At best, if you rise, something pegs you. Just doing what you have been doing before will not produce the result. Lord, what is the strategy in this season? I need to change seasons. I need to change seasons. Even for some of us, you have been carrying a level and a measure of anointing. 
a measure of anointing. Lord, can't you take me higher and enlarge my coast? You may be praying and fasting, but there may be a strategy by God to you. We're about to pray. I sense the grace of God in this place. Bring for me two people now. The power of God is coming very mightily on them. Do I have a few minutes, Bishop? This is a Sunday service. I just saw light. There is such an unction that is coming on two people. Please let me have them here. It's, it's an anointing. I'm seeing that the Lord is breaking. The, ah. Please. Once that happens, I want you to bring them. The power of God is moving two people. It will come upon them. Please carry them. Just bring them to the front here. We are going to pray. And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what can stand against? And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what, what can stand against? And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what can stand against? Hallelujah. We're praying. Who is Josephine? Is it Josephine? I'm hearing the name Josephine. Is there someone with that name? Josephine. 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 Who is that? You are wearing like um, like green or lemon. Josephine. Is there someone like that? Josephine. What's your name? Is the mic working? Please help us. Just a few minutes and we'll pray. We still have. Is it working? What's your name, my dear? Josephine. You're a member of this church? Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. Your life is about to change in the name of jesus mama i want to pray for you the lord is breaking the bondage of witchcraft this is what i'm seeing in the name of jesus christ every power that will not let you go here at this 14th anniversary in the name of jesus christ i command it leaves you now in the name of jesus the christ of god i declare that you are free free now and free forever my dear look at me the josephine lady lift your hands what do you do i work with ncdc presently ncdc nta NCDC. ncdc let me pray for you in the name of jesus every antagonism against you in your office this is what i'm seeing in the name of jesus because i'm seeing trouble let her go now in the name of jesus the christ of god the bible says wherefore god had so highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name i'm hearing a name chukudi chukudi is there someone with that name who is that what do you do sir i'm a data scientist huh i'm a data scientist you are a data scientist legal Data scientist, data science. Dental. Dental science. Research and public policy okay. and economist. I want to pray for you. I'm seeing you climb a ladder, and every time I see this in a vision, I know that increase. You are stepping into a new season. You believe that? We're going to pray. Someone will shout loud under the anointing. Bring the person out, please. I just want to speak to the person. We're going to pray now. Remember, we're talking about divine strategies. For some of you, the strategy God gave you was to come for this program. That's it. You see how the devil fought you from coming. You tried to come. No transport. You tried to come. Something happened. Like that man there. Because his ministry is about to change. Bring him. You see. The devil, you will try and try and try and try and try. Someone will annoy you. You want to stay back. But it's the devil trying to stop you. Because the strategy for your lifting. This man, please stand up. This man, I don't know you will come. 
I don't know anything about you, but I want to pray for you. I'm seeing what do you have to do with Enugu State? I'm a pastor there. I'm a pastor there. You're a pastor in Enugu State. That's what I'm saying. I want to pray for you. Ah! The grace for revelation. This is the grace that is coming on you in a very strange dimension. I, I stretch my hands towards you. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare. Take that grace. May that anointing shift you to superior levels in the spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus. Superior dimensions of revelation by the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is the minister's role. There's somebody, I'm seeing the power of God come on one person. Please don't be embarrassed. Just one person just on this role. I don't know. I'm seeing like light, fire. It's an ignition of the prophetic grace. Sir, take that grace to a new season. This man, in the name of Jesus, you will never be the same. I shift you to a new dimension in the spirit. Shilakata. Everyone, please open your mouth and begin to pray in one minute. Please begin to pray. Begin to pray. It's a new season. It's a new season. It's a new season. It's a new season. Hallelujah. New season. That oil. Look at me, sir. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Shout loud Jesus as loud as you can. I release you into a new level of grace by the power that raised Christ from the dead. You will never be the same again. In the name of Jesus Christ. My friend, what do you do? Huh? Ministry, sir. Ministry, ministry. You are doing ministry. Yes. Your own ministry. Yes. Where? Well, um, it's an interdimensional ministry at the moment. Don't feel bad. I'm seeing chains all around you. Amen. This is what I'm seeing. And the Lord is saying to set you free. I stretch my hands. Take that grace. <laughs> Take that fire. Go back with signs and wonders. I open new horizons by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus. Grace to do ministry with integrity. May the Lord anoint you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please lift your voice and pray. Father, the kind of circumcision that must happen in my life and my destiny in this season. Let it come upon me. Lift your voice and pray. Is someone pray? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have to walk with time. Please apologize. Just give me two, three minutes. I'm seeing a family. It's like every two, two years, there is a pattern of death. Two years, someone must die. Either someone in the family related or like maybe, an, maybe uh, an, just someone within the family. Is there someone like that? I want to pray and break that demonic chain right now. Where are you from? I'm from Enugu, sir. Huh? Enugu. I'm seeing someone you've been looking for admission for one, two, three, four. You've written jam. This is like five years or so. Four, five years. You've been searching, searching for admission. Is there someone like that? I want to pray with you very quickly. It's your time for deliverance now. Mama, I want to pray for you. Still the same case. I'm standing in faith with Bishop. And we're declaring that every planting that is not of the Lord, that brings patterns. Are we in agreement, church? That every pattern that is not of God, over these dear people, it must go right now. Open your mouth and begin to pray for them. Open your mouth and begin to pray for them. Rabba Bakos, Sakata, 
I want to pray. I'm seeing chains in this place. Please, I want you to believe. God brought you here to shift seasons in your life. You shouldn't come here and just go back and say, I came to church. No. Seasons. This is why God put it upon the life of his servant. Insist. Be angry. I can't be at this level again for the rest of my life. It must be a new season in my life. I want to pray right now. Listen. There are people here and their families that have been under all sorts of demonic captivity. The Bible says, for this purpose was the Son of God made manifest. That he may destroy the works of the devil. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. Listen. Shout it as loud as you can from the depth of your heart. Please, ushers, I want you to bring those under the anointing after that shout. Whether you are an usher or not, just help them if you are there. And you are a worker in the, in the ministry. Are we ready? Father, every power that is not of the Christ. Sitting over the destinies of people. Here on this mountain of the Lord. I stand in agreement with the bishop. The angel over this commission. And Lord, I declare that at the count of three. As they shout, let that wall of Jericho. It must fall down now. Are you ready? At the count of three, shout Jesus. One, two, three. Jesus! Let them go now. I command every witchcraft, every orchestration of darkness. This way now. This way now. Give way now. Give way now. Every ordinance. Lift your voice and pray. I break free from every chain. I break free from every chain. Every limiting chain. I break free from every chain. Bring them out. Bring them out. Zechariah chapter 1, please. Zechariah chapter 1. From verse 18. Someone's life is changing. Please, media, can you help us? Just five minutes and we're done. Zechariah 1 and verse 18. Zechariah. Chapter 1 and verse 18. Then I lifted up my eyes and saw and behold four horns. Next verse. 19. And I said unto the angel that talked with me, What be these? And he answered, he said, these are the horns which have scattered Judah, which have scattered Israel, which have scattered Jerusalem. 19. 20 now. Praise the Lord. Well, let me just quote it. He said, And I have sent these are the horns. Okay, let's go to 21. That these are the horns that have scattered Judah. Look up, please. So that no man did lift up his head. But I have come to fray them, to cast out the horns of the Gentiles, which lifted up their horn over the land of Judah to scatter it. There are horns that insist that people don't rise. There are horns that insist that families don't rise. Madam, that woman at the back there, lift your hands. You, yes. I'm seeing light coming to you. This woman, yes. No, 
the one looking at me now lift your hands i just saw light coming to you in the name of jesus i declare that everything that will not let you go help her everything that will not let you go help her please my god he must let you go now all those who are out here in the name of jesus i declare that every power that will not let you go right now in this assembly hear my voice i speak as one sent in the name that is above all names i declare their exodus from your life forever 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 that the egyptians you see you will see them no more forever what is this that you are holding my friend what is this ah huh? you are looking for a job where what is your name do you believe in miracles give me your credential in the name of jesus look at me i'm saying it in the open it's not in the secret i give you three months from today in the name of jesus may god settle you honorably by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus christ i place a grace upon you go with this grace in the name of jesus christ the lord will open doors for you beyond your imagination to the glory of the name of the lord in the name of jesus christ hallelujah let me pray for someone who is always seeing dead people you go to bed and here they come people that have died oh, a long time ago calling you trying to eat with you this is what i'm saying the lord wants to set that person free please who is that person very quickly your members of this church you see why it's good to come you see why it's good you listen for all the remaining sessions in this conference i want you to go and gather your family members even if there's no space you will sit on the zinc are we together now by the grace of god i'm still here i think we have two more sessions in the morning and in the evening i think god is really ready to visit and just end some things once and for all my sister look at me i'm looking at you and in the realm of the spirit i'm seeing a veil all over your face this is what i'm seeing that you are looking at someone physically but in the realm of the spirit you are not seeing a face anything covering anyone's glory here in the name of jesus i tear that veil into pieces i tear that veil into pieces hear me the living has nothing to do with the dead it is appointed unto men to die once after that the judgment whoever has died no matter how close the person is they are gone and they are gone there is a, a partition hear me the grave is a spirit it can call men it can call men in the name that is above all names here at this church every one of you who the spirit of death and the grave is trying to call or trying to call love habakatapatos ketepa empreketo sekete barakash ekete kotos kotopakata barakete shebrende kepotsotokopa kepreketo shiketa oh death where is your sting oh grave where is your victory i declare be free right now in the name of jesus be free right now in the name of jesus I release you what do you do sir look at me you are a stockbroker i want to pray for you stand up i'm looking at you and i'm seeing a lot of load on your head i have to pray for you because what is on your head now if i don't pray for you you are in trouble you can even have bp it will destroy you in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god may god show you mercy may god show you mercy May God show you mercy in the name of Jesus. We have to round up. For some of you here, as you lie down to sleep, 
God will open up the blueprint of the next season of your life and show you what you need to do in the name of Jesus Christ for some of you as you go to the place of prayer God will show you the mystery behind the occurrences in your life alongside the solution that brings you into victory in the name of Jesus who is the Christ of God in the name of Jesus who is the Christ of God everything that is dead in your life hear the word of the Lord I declare that it comes back to life now help her help her help her with the child please just believe what I'm saying I'm not entertaining you I say it again that everything that is dead in your life hear the word of the Lord Talita Kumi I declare that it comes back alive now and every door that has refused to open that door has been before you for many years and yet it will not open in the name of Jesus we scatter that door right now in this 14th anniversary everything that your father the bishop truly desires for you in your life your finances your spiritual life i stand in faith and i lend my voice with him and his wife i agree with you by the spirit may it be yours let victory be yours let increase be yours spiritual fire let it be yours a resurrection of your prayer life let it be yours activation of spiritual gifts let it be yours in the name of jesus christ so please by the grace of god we still have a few sessions tomorrow and i'm going to be sharing with you something very powerful especially for ministers of the gospel i pray that you come discipline yourself come with something to write enlarge your heart and then hopefully if god grants grace the night will be a miracle and impartation night when god will grant us grace there are graces you have desired you have coveted the lord will transfer these graces and set you on fire like the foxes of samson the lord bless you the lord increase you in jesus name dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. the face of development lord grant me the discipline